Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the midpoint formula. So before we start our discussion, let's try to consider the following situation. A plane flying between two cities cannot stop mid-air to ascertain its position. If you are the pilot and the plane gets some engine damage, will you go back or head on to the final destination? What factor would you consider in making a decision? So if I am the pilot of the plane, I will consider the distance of the two cities. If the destination is much nearer, then I will head on to the destination. And if it is much farther, then I will head back home. So to determine the distance between the two cities, we need to find its midpoint. So that will be our discussion in today's lesson. So let's now have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A, determine the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment on a coordinate plane using the midpoint formula. Letter B, find the other endpoint of a line segment when the midpoint and one endpoint are given. And letter C, appreciate the importance of the midpoint formula in making wise decisions. Let us try to consider the following figure. So in this figure, point P and point Q are endpoints of a line segment. Point M is called the midpoint, and when we say midpoint, it divides a line segment into two equal parts. So in this figure, point M divides the line segment PQ into two equal parts, which is segment PM and segment MQ. Then, to find the x-coordinate or the abscissa of M, we will get the average of the x-coordinate of point P and point Q. So, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. And then, to get the y-coordinate or the ordinate of M, we will get the average of the y-coordinates of point P and point Q, which is y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. The midpoint formula is a formula that can be used to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment on the coordinate plane. The midpoint of point P, which has a coordinate of x sub 1, y sub 1, and point Q, which has a coordinate of x sub 2, y sub 2, is the ordered pair x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So this will be the formula in finding the midpoint of a line segment. Let's have our first example. The coordinates of the endpoints of segment AB are the ordered pair 3, 5, and 9, 7 respectively. What are the coordinates of its midpoint M? So our first step is to let the ordered pair x sub 1, y sub 1 equals to the ordered pair 3, 5. And the ordered pair x sub 2, y sub 2 is equal to the ordered pair 9, 7. And then after that, we will use the formula. So our formula will be midpoint is equal to the value of x value equals x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. The y value equals y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. So the value of x sub 1 is equal to 3 plus the value of x sub 2 is equal to 9 divided by 2. And then the value of y sub 1 is equal to 5. The value of y sub 2 is equal to 7 divided by 2. And then we will simplify. So 3 plus 9 will be equal to 12 over 2. And then 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 over 2. And then after that, 
12 divided by 2 is equal to 6, and then 12 divided by 2 again is equal to 6. Therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint of segment AB is the ordered pair 6, 6. Let's proceed with our second example. The coordinates of the endpoints of segment AB are the ordered pair 1, negative 5, and 7, 4, respectively. What are the coordinates of its midpoint M? So the first step will be to let the ordered pair x sub 1, y sub 1 equals the ordered pair 1, negative 5. And the ordered pair x sub 2, y sub 2 will be equal to the ordered pair 7, 4. And then after that, we will use the midpoint formula in which the midpoint is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 to get the x value, and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 to get the y value. And then after that, all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. The value of x sub 1 is equal to 1. The value of x sub 2 is equal to 7, then divided by 2. Then the value of y sub 1 is equal to negative 5 plus the value of y sub 2 is equal to positive 4 divided by 2. And then we will simplify 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 over 2. And then negative 5 plus 4 is equal to negative 1 over 2. And then 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 bring down negative 1 half. Therefore, the midpoint of segment AB is the ordered pair 4, negative 1 half. So let's have our next example. If point P, which has a coordinate of negative 1, 2, is the midpoint of segment RJ, and one endpoint R has a coordinate of 7, negative 8, find the coordinates of the other endpoint J. So to do that, let's have our solution. We will let the value of x sub 1, y sub 1 is equal to 7, negative 8, and the value of the midpoint is equal to negative 1, 2. And then we will find the other endpoint which is equal to x sub to y sub 2. And then after that, we will use the midpoint formula. To get the x value, we will equate it by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. And then to get the y value, we will equate it by y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding value. So the value of x is equal to negative 1 equals the value of x sub 1 is equal to 7 plus x sub 2 which is unknown, then divided by 2. And then after that, we will simplify. So we will cross multiply negative 1 times 2, which is equal to negative 2. And then 7 times 1, because any whole number has a denominator of 1. So we will multiply it. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. And then x sub 2 times 1 is equal to x sub 2. And then after that, we will transpose positive 7. So positive 7, it will become negative 7. Bring down x sub 2 and then bring down negative 2. And then negative 7 plus negative 2 will be equal to negative 9. Next, let's find the value of y sub 2. Again, we will substitute the corresponding value. The value of y is equal to 2 equals the value of y sub 1 is equal to negative 8 plus y sub 2 which is unknown and then divided by 2. After that, we will cross multiply. So 2 over 1. It has a denominator of 1. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then 1 times the quantity of negative 8 plus y sub 2 is equal to negative 8 plus y sub 2. And then after that, we will bring down y sub 2. And then we will transpose negative 8. It will become positive 8. And then bring down positive 4. And then 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So the value of y sub 2 is equal to 12. Therefore, the coordinates of the other endpoint G are negative 9 and positive 12. For our last example, let's have this problem. Strike and Cheska are having their vacation in two different islands in the Philippines as illustrated. Cheska is on the coordinates negative 3, 1. 
and then strike is on the coordinates 2, negative 1. They decided to meet at a point halfway between their locations to save travel time. Find the exact coordinates of the midpoint between the two islands where they will meet. So we will find the midpoint of the two islands where Strike and Cheska will meet. Therefore, we will use the midpoint formula. So let's have our solution. So we will let x sub 1, y sub 1 equals negative 3, 1. And then x sub 2, y sub 2 will be equal to 2, negative 1. And then after that, we will use the midpoint formula wherein to get the x value, we will equate it by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. To get the y value of the midpoint, we will equate it by y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding values. So the value of x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 plus the value of x sub 2 is equal to positive 2 divided by 2. And then the value of y sub 1 is equal to 1 plus the value of y sub 2 is equal to negative 1 divided by 2. And then after that, we will simplify. So negative 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 1 over 2. And then 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0 over 2. And then bring down negative 1 half and then 0 divided by 2 will be equal to 0. So therefore, Strike and Cheska will meet at the coordinates negative 1 half and 0.